Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I will show you how to use a progress bar with your C Sharp Windows Form application. So first of all, you need to take a progress bar from a toolbox, from your tool toolbox. So grab a progress bar and drop it into your form. Resize it according to your use. And the second tool we are going to use is a button to load the tool progress bar. And I will also resize it and I will change the name of this button as load progress bar. Okay. So these two things I require one more tool I re require which is a timer so just grab a timer and drop it into a form so like this and it, you will notice that it will not go directly into a form but below your form here so don't worry it's okay now what you are going to do or what you need to do is just select your timer and just copy the name of the timer which is timer1 and then select your progress bar and double click it and here in the load progress bar button click event we will write this dot sorry this dot timer one dot start bracket bracket closed so write this in your button click event and then once again come to your progress bar or if come to your form and this time you will select your timer and double click it and in here we are going to write a code so for this just select your progress bar and write the name or copy the name of the your progress bar and then write here this dot progress bar one which is my progress bar name dot increment and bracket and bracket closed and in here we are going to pass the intervals for the increment so I will write one so my progress bar will progress with the interval of one okay so these two line one line in the but timer tick event this line and this line in the load progress bar event and now we are going to run our program it's running and when I click this button see the progress bar it's increasing gradually and it will fill okay so progress bar is working the other thing is the speed of filling how to control the speed of filling so when you select your timer here you can increase or decrease the interval okay so for example if you decrease the interval to 10 and then run your program load progress it will fill faster and if you increase that interval and then run your program and load, load progress bar it will load very gradually so you can set the interval according to your need okay here 
so this is uh, very important and in this way you can use a progress bar to show some progress in your C sharp application so I hope you have enjoyed this short video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now